So, hey guys, welcome back. How y'all doing today? Do not laugh at my hair. I'm going to explain to you guys why my hair is like this, okay? So, just bear with me. Do not see hair and come out of my head. Okay, so basically today's video is based on my wash routine and my wash and go style. Um, I did get a request from somebody on my last video, which is about my natural hair update. And if you haven't got a chance to look at that video, I'm going to slide it to either the left or the right of me, wherever the hell this might be. And you might go check that out. You can like that video and you can share that video. And make sure if you haven't been a subscriber yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Sorry, just had to make sure I brand myself and plug myself in because I'm the only one doing it. But basically, I got the request from somebody on my last video to wanting to basically explain to them how I do my wash day and what I do for my wash and go. So, I said, hell, I'll make a video about it because I did say that in my last video. So, this is what I'm going to do. All right? Cool. So, the way I do my wash days is as simple as I can possibly make it for myself. Um, for one, I will tell you right now, I do not like to wash my hair. I do not like to wash my hair because it gets on my nerves. It's too much on my head. When I used to have a little, you know, a TWA, tiny little fro. No tiny little fro, TWA? Tiny little fro? Whatever. You know what I mean. When I used to have the little baby little fro, it was good. It was manageable. I was able to sit here and wash my hair in like a half an hour and I was out and I could just you know twist it up or style it or put a little flower in it you girls with short hair y'all know what I mean so that's what I would normally do but now I've gotten to the point where there's just too much hair on my head it's frustrating I get hot sometimes I want to cut it but I don't because it's beautiful so this is how I decided to make my wash day as simple and easy so this is the first step of what I do. I section off my hair into about six to seven sections. The reason why I sit here and section off my hair into six to seven sections is because my hair is able to be a little bit more manageable and workable. So that's what I like to do in a sense of making sure that I am working with all parts of my hair. So the first step that I do, first step is my deep condition now my deep conditioner of choice is the ETA natural part of caramel deep reconstruction treatment and is enriched with real bananas and it's for natural girls relaxed and color treated hair now I've been using this product for about three years now and I love this product and I swear by this stuff now it's a really kind of a sticky substance type of product but basically this is what I do normally what I do is I'll take some of my hair so this will be my hair. And if you want a link check, uh, if you want a link check, here's the link check right here. There it is. It's, it's all me. All right. This is my link check. All right. All right. This is my link check. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, uh, okay. All right. This is my link check. It's his length, all right? So, basically what I do for the deep condition is I use my handy dandy water bottle and I spray the hair. You wanna be able to spray it and get it nice and damped. And then you take a little bit of this substance and you put about a quarter size in your hand. Depending on how thick your hair, you may wanna put a little bit more than that. Rub it together. This is a sticky substance, so you want to make sure that you rub it together and then when you deposit it in the hair, you work from the ends to the roots. So I'm working towards the ends, coming up towards the roots. Working it in the hair, and this is what you want to do. Every time when you put this product in, you really want to make sure you work the product into your hair. Now, you don't necessarily have to use this product. You can use any type of deep treatment that would work for you. And then once you're pretty much done with that section, you would either you can leave the hair just like this or you can wrap it up in bantu knots. That's what I normally like to do. So wrap it up in a bantu knot. And then basically do that for the rest of those seven sections and you can put a cap on it and let it sit for 20 minutes. Now you can also let it sit overnight, which normally that's what I do. So I will finish my head and I will come back to show you the other half of what I do with the sense of my wash regimen. All right guys, so I'm fresh out the shower and I'm pretty much washed all the hair in the sections that I had split them up. I'm right now using a t-shirt to basically kind of blot my hair so it won't dry out. 
Now, what I be using is I used my oil also to do some of the washing. I used the repairing wash that I had used before in my last video to do my wash and go. I also use this conditioner, which is the ORS repairing conditioner because I ran it out of my main choice, which I need to get. And I definitely going to be using my water bottle to make sure I achieve this look with the help of my castor oil as well. But I can't forget the main ingredient that causes my curls to look really beautiful, which is my Blueberry Bliss Curl Jelly, which is going to be the main ingredient of how I get my beautiful curls and coils. So now let's get on with this video with the sense of the washing up. So basically I'm just using the sections that I already had split up and I'm going to be basically kind of making sure that I work in sections when I do this wash and go set. So I'm going to spray the hair with water first and then I'm going to use a little bit of my castor oil to basically seal the moisture in as I apply the curl jelly in. And then I'm going to work in sub smaller sections with the section that I have. So I'm able to kind of make sure that each hair get a little bit of the curl jelly paste that I will be applying onto my head. So I have about a, a quarter size in my hand and I'm using my fingertips and I'm just literally going through the hair and running my fingers through the hair. Now as you can see, you can see that my curls are starting to curl up and they're starting to activate. And you might see that it comes off that there's like a white kind of paste looking on the camera but trust and believe guys that, that will not show when the wash and go is completely fully dried and done okay so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this video is just working in smaller sections in my subsections and making sure that all of my hair is coated with the blueberry pearl jelly <laughs> I'm at the top of my head and I'm still using the same subsection, splitting that section into mini sections to work with the hair and doing the same routine, which is spraying my hair with water, sealing it with the castor oil, and using the curl jelly paste to pretty much activate the curl. Now, this style would take about an hour to hour and a half to do. It just depends on how much hair you have. Because I have a lot of hair, I gotta make sure that all the hair is coated with each product that I do put on the hair. So making sure that I go through my subsections again, making sure that every hair got a little bit of that curl jelly and using my fingertips to pretty much detangle the hair as I'm working in these subsections is pretty much working and it's on my side with making sure this style looks great. So right now what I'm going to be doing is making sure I define the part of my hair and making sure that I start stretching my root. So what I like to do is use one of my alligator clips to pin down my root and then right now at this point I'm pretty much going to be just air drying this hair and then I will come back with the next step which is blow drying the root. that the shrinkage is real yes it is it's completely real so I'm using my blow dryer to basically stretch out my root this is going to put back the length in my hair now if you have the same problem like this I would advise you definitely to use a blow dryer and stretch out your root right now I have the blow dryer on about a medium heat and I'm just taking the hair in my hand and just stretching the root and using the blow dryer to kind of straighten out the root a little bit so I can get some length going with my wash and go um, my hand is covered with castor oil so it's not going to be frizzy it's not going to have the curls be jumped out of place so you want to make sure that your hands nice and coated with whatever oil of choice so your hair doesn't come out frizzy 
and pretty much is about fluffing and kind of getting it shaped up and right and this is pretty much the final look y'all I think this is so easy for girls who got my hair type um, I'm hoping that this definitely worked for you I'm sorry that I sound a little bit hoarse right now I'm just under the weather but I had to make sure I get this video out if you have any questions or concerns definitely let me know in the comment box below if you're not a subscriber yet please subscribe to my channel I'm doing amazing cool videos that I think you should like to see and I will tune in to you guys on a whole nother video until next time y'all Take care.